Hey guys, it's Sky from Reignited, and today I'm going to address the great debate. Should you, in fact, oil up the O-ring seal on your oil filter before you install it? For whatever reason, this seems to be a topic of great debate among people. You have people equally convinced on either side that they are, in fact, correct. The people who insist that you must lubricate the O-ring seal must be convinced that something catastrophic is going to happen to your engine if you do not do so. I'd like to explain exactly when it is necessary to do that and when it's not. All right, I want you to think for a moment about what exactly it is that you're doing when you're lubricating this O-ring seal. What is it that you are trying to prevent? Well, as we know, rubber, when it is a dry surface, it's very grippy. That's why your tires are made out of rubber, because they're very grippy. So what can happen is if this rubber O-ring is going against a dry surface, there's a chance that it could catch, it could bunch up, or more importantly, that it'll stick and make you think that the oil filter is in fact tight when it is not fully tightened just yet. So a lot of people prevent that by putting a thin film of oil on the O-ring itself. It allows it to spin smoothly and then you know it's tight. It's a good idea, right? Well, is it absolutely necessary for you to do that every single time you change your oil? No, it's not. Why? Because when you change the oil of an engine that has already been running and driving, when you remove the filter, you see all that oil that comes running off the filter housing itself? Well, that machine surface where this oil filter goes onto is covered in oil. Does it really make sense that you have to add additional oil to the O-ring seal before putting it on there? Of course it doesn't. The oil is already there. It will spin smoothly. The situation when you, do, when you do need to add oil to this seal is if it's going against a completely dry machine surface. Take, for example, my Chrysler 300 right here. I've had this engine completely apart, and you can watch that entire series on my channel. But I've had this engine completely apart, completely rebuilt it, and so it is 100% dry except for engine assembly lube. There's no extra oil in there at all. Therefore, the machine surface where the oil filter meets up is completely dry. Thus, I will absolutely be putting some oil on this O-ring before I install the oil filter. So that's the difference. If there's already some oil on the machine surface, you don't need to do it. If there is not any oil there, you do. So you're both correct. There's no need to fight about it anymore. But I know for a fact that this debate will rage on for many more years, regardless of what the answer really is.